What's up guys here with another video. We got the turbo truck right here on three turbo. Um, on today's episode, we will be painting the wheels silver metallic. Uh, so first of all, obviously take them off the truck on uh, these are TBSSs, the original ones. So that's why I got to run spacers. Um, yeah, pretty much we're just going to wash them right now. Give them, give them a good wash and then um, I don't know if I should go paint buy a uh, sandpaper because I only got like 1,000, 100, and uh, 250, and 100 is too rough, 1,000 is too smooth, and 250 is like 250 or 220. I think it's 220. The 220 is a little too um too rough too. I don't know. Uh, metallic silver, three of them. Also bought white because I'm gonna color match it, just like cheap color match. This is not a professional paint job, like for the wheels. So, it's not gonna be like the best, guys. So, it'll probably last you like what? Like maybe three, four months. But it's not gonna last you a long time. Uh, it's just like a cheap, like, makeover on the wheels. If you're not gonna keep the truck or car for a long time. I got the Chevy emblem painted. I painted the grill right there, too. So, I messed up the, the grass. But anyways, guys, I think we're. I'm gonna go to the store, buy me like a 500 grit, at least 500 or 600, and then I'll be back after I wash them. Then I give them sand, and then I'm not even gonna use primer. I'm just gonna just straight paint them up. But yeah, guys, uh, catch y'all later. What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm back. Uh, so it's been uh, next day. Yeah. Uh, so pretty much I sanded it down with the 600 grit. I bought it off of Harbor Freight. Just got this one, let me see. Yeah. So I was gonna try to find a 500 grit, but I didn't find a 400 or a 500. So I just went with the 600. And uh, this is the first, first, uh, first spray. So yeah, it has a lot of metallic in the paint. That's some paint on my other wheels. It didn't have so much, so much metallic paint, so much like metallic in it on it. But yeah, metallic silver. But yeah, this is just the first, uh, first coat. We still need a uh, second coat. I miss a spot right there. But anyways, guys. Looks nice from far. All right, up close, but that doesn't matter. Just mientras se vea silver. That's the only thing I care about. Then we got the turb ski right there. But anyways, I uh, guess I'm just gonna let that dry, guys, and then slap them on, and then I'll make another video once they're on the truck, and probably paint the. Put the front bumper in the grill, all painted. Oh yeah, guys. I'm back. Uh, so I finished off painting the wheels, guys. I just uh, slapped them on. Yeah, I didn't paint. I didn't paint uh, over here. I just paint from right here and up all the way here. Yeah, since I'm not really, I don't really care. I just wanted to look silver. So yeah, I finished up. I slapped them on. Makes the truck look nicer. Hello. Hello. So yeah, so right now I got, uh, let me show you a grill. I finished painting that one. I just, uh, I just use Walmart paint. I don't use anything special. For the grill, I didn't even sand it down. I just put like a, I think I sanded it down with the 600 too. Yeah. Here's the grill. It's not the best guys, but it just makes it look better than how it was. Got these tape right here. I don't know how paint got in there. Painted the emblem black. Oh yeah, from far it looks nice. From up close, obviously it doesn't look the best. Not like I really care since we're gonna sell the truck. So we just want it to look nice on the photos. And what else? Oh yeah, I'm working on the bumper right now. On the bumper. 
that I don't really care. So I'm just gonna paint it. No sand. Right here, I want it to stick, so I need it to be rough on the chrome. Uh, I'm using a 100 grit, guys. 100 grit. I don't know what which one you're supposed to use. That's what I'm gonna use on this and got it from but I actually this is my brother's. Uh, he bought a Harbor Freight. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue sending it down all the way. Got that that much. Still need this side. So paint it and then I probably put it on and then I'm gonna make another video of how it looks, guys. But yeah. Anyways, but this is all from Walmart and Harbor Freight. Uh, sandpaper is from Harbor Freight. Paint from Walmart. Uh, the wheels cost me like well, paint plus the sandpaper. I'm not counting labor, by the way, guys, because you know, is that the do it yourself type of? It's probably like under twenty bucks. Yeah, under twenty bucks. This is what you get. Under 20 bucks, guys. Just think about it. Uh, no, it has no clear. It's just the paint. No clear, no prime. Just just silver. No, no prime. Or it's clear. And for the front end, probably under under five bucks. Yeah, because they're like 150, I think. 150. I got like three of them. Just spray paint. Fast, cheap. Oh yeah, guys, got the whole front end, probably gonna paint it for under, what, $5. It's not the best, but it's presentable. Anyways, guys, well, catch up. We're later. back. Uh, so today's the next day and finished off uh, painting off the painting the bumper, which, I mean, it didn't came out too bad. Check it out, up close. I didn't fix any of the damage it had, cause I don't know, it's just a waste of time. I don't wanna spend too much time on it. But yeah, right here didn't came out. It came out pretty good right there, right here. Yeah. Oh shit, got it dirty. Uh, but yeah, right there, just not bad. Right here, I'm gonna put a zip tie so I can lift it up a little bit, bit more. But yeah, also painted. I think I mentioned that I painted grill already. But yeah. Right here, it's just, that's just how it is. I tried to fix it, but I couldn't, so. I was gonna leave it like that. I don't wanna waste too much time on that. But yeah, guys, got the whole front end painted, color match, pretty much. Um, next, we're gonna be focusing on the, this, exhaust. Oh shit, oh shit, this is hot as hell. Um, let me go. God damn it. Stay right there, man. All uh, right, so. Anyways, I took off the clamp. It was like this. I don't want to cut my. I don't want to make a hole in my hood, which I could make it easier on me. I don't know. Should I make a hole in the hood or the fender? I don't know. I prefer because look, if I make a hole in the hood, it's just gonna like straight, and then in the rain. Not like I'm gonna drive in the rain, but either way, I don't like it. I think I'm just gonna make a hole right here. Like right there, or right there. I'll probably use this like this. So it makes like a little horn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, let's see what we uh, come up with. But anyways, I ordered this off eBay. Cause uh, that one's like, I don't know. It's not too much of a big, an like a, like a angle like this one. It's like a smaller angle. So anyways, yeah. So I can make, I can make a, like run right into here. Like weld it right there, and then make it go out through there, through there, right there, which would come out to be right here. Oh yeah, guys, uh, probably cut it right here because I'm gonna like, I'm gonna cut it right here, and this piece I'm gonna use on this one, weld it right here. I need to order some of this. I forgot about ordering this. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna order some of this so I can wrap it around this one too. And that's about it, guys. Uh, so 
Catch y'all later. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and comment.